Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be moving on to more examples in chapter 11.1. Okay, so in example number two, given that cosine of theta is two thirds, where theta is acute, find without using a calculator the value of sine theta multiplied to cosine 90 degrees minus theta. Before we move on, just want to point out that acute, okay, the, the term acute means that theta is actually between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Now, how do we find this value? Sine of theta multiplied by cosine 90 degrees minus theta. We will be making use of the three identities you see on the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so let us just fill in the unknown sides on the triangle. So cosine of theta is given as adjacent which is 2 over hypotenuse which is 3 okay and then using Pythagoras theorem we can work out that this unknown side a is actually root of 5 okay moving on let us try to evaluate the given expression so the sine of theta is defined as opposite which is root 5 over hypotenuse which is 3 and the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is defined as just sine theta. Okay, as you can see from this expression over here. Let me just highlight it for you. So it's just sine of, <coughs> of theta. So sine of theta. And, you know, earlier we found that sine of theta is just root 5 over 3. Again, simplifying this, we'll just get 5 over 9. And that's all for example number 2. Okay, let's move on to example number 3. In this example, we're given that tangent of theta is equals to half. Okay, so the tangent of theta is just opposite, which is here, over, over, adjacent, uh, sorry, over adjacent rather, which is over here. And using Pythagoras theorem, we can work out this length to be the root of 5. Okay, without using the calculator, find sine theta. So sine theta is just opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 1, hypotenuse is root of 5. Okay, and we want to rationalize this. So we multiply by root 5 over root 5, and we'll just get root 5 over 5. How about the cosine of theta? The cosine of theta is defined as adjacent, which is 2 over hypotenuse, which is root 5. So similarly, let us just rationalize this denominator and we'll get 2 root 5 over 5. Now, moving on, we want to find the value of sine 90 degrees minus theta multiplied by cosine 90 degrees minus theta. So let me just write this out first. Okay, so to find this, we will be making use of these two identities you see at, on the top left hand corner of your screen. So, the sine of 90 degrees minus theta is actually just cosine of theta. So, cos this can be converted to the cosine of theta. And the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is simply, okay, let me use a different color for this. This is simply sine theta. So, we are actually looking for cosine theta multiplied by sine theta. And the values of these two functions have already been found in the earlier part of this question. So cosine theta is 2 root 5 over 5. Sine theta is root 5 over 5. Okay, and multiplying this together, using your calculator, we'll just end up with 2 fifths. Okay, and that's all for example number 3. Okay, so just to summarize, for chapter 11.1, which is, uh, I would say, one of the easier chapters in trigonometry, okay, we have learned about the trigger ratios of complementary angles. Let me just highlight once again that complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees. Okay, and uh, let me just leave you with some practice questions before I end off. So you can pause the video here and take them down. And last but not least, let me thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see you for now.